Howdy cowdies, weekly walk about time at the collector. I hope you're going all right. I've got more good stuff to sell this week. Some nice watches. Little Omega one there's a ripper. Um, Seamaster DeVille automatic. It's a really nice Tissot automatic. On the right hand side over the back there, on the right, uh, Marvin is the brand. Um, but it's got a menorah on it. And on the back of it as well, it's got the 12 tribes of Israel. So it's a sort of um, Jewish interesting bit. Another nice watch there behind my finger is a nice Swiss wind-up chronograph. This little one here is a pretty early 1930s Rolex made for a Melbourne retailer. <coughs> it's a nice little ladies nine carat gold Tudor Rolex. We've got a nice Dunhill cigarette lighter. Some Sovereign Scales. That nice 1970s one there as well, automatic. I just can't remember the brand. It might be Alera. A packet of the round, circular, politically incorrect playing cards. We've got more watches. You've got a nice Seiko chronograph there with a the black face. Just needs a battery in it. Sort of sewing and implements and sort of manicure stuff. There's a lovely little pair of fold-out scissors. There's some nice stuff in the jewellery cabinet. Coins, paperweights, pretty cool pair of 1990s Oakley M-frame sunglasses. Yeah, some cool stuff. Alright, what else? Picnic set's an absolute ripper. All original. It's got the little Brexton badge down there. So it's so marked underneath Brexton, England. So it is a complete set. Doesn't look like it's seen too many picnics. Really nice. The cartel. Purple stacking nest of three. Nice little cartel yellow waste paper bin. Mustard planet lamp. Cool little retro telecom phone. Some more sort of watches. Seikos and other stuff in a nice watch sort of case. A traffic light. Just with the green and the red arrows. Mixed group lot of occasional furniture. Chandelier, pair of bedsides. There's a nice big clock and some frames. Got an old 1990s Melbourne training jersey, number 30. Burke and Wills oil skin coat. And that's a Soviet um, Navy trench coat. There you go. And a Soviet military trench coat. Pretty cool things. All right, mannequins and a nice artist easel kit. Records, packaged toys, nice little portable gramophone. Some 78s, muskrat boogie. There's some cool stuff in there. All sort of football related records, musical instruments. A little bongo drum with a Yamaha keyboard and a box of goodies with a hand painted Russian balalaika. A nice Shaw wireless microphone. And there is also a sign, pseudo echo. 45 RPM single, signed by the entire band. There you go. Cool lot. What else? Some cats, including the Recaro plate. A couple of nice little Gempo fellas. Cool lot of records. There's some nice uh, classical stuff with all Australian artists on the covers. So Sid Nolan, Ian Syme, Lena Noir. We've got Laurie Dawes, Albert Tucker. Pretty cool Albert Tucker, actually. Max Middleton. And then there's some other stuff in there as well. Dreamtime by Wayne King. The Art of Ernest Sack. Singing Kettles has some good stuff in here. I think Angry Anderson's in there as well. He's definitely... There he is. That's him. Nice big Onkyo receiver. Singer sewing machine's a ripper in the little dome cover. Some spanners. Heaps of Lego. All the cars. Heaps of stuff in there as well. Heaps of little minifigure dudes. I don't know. Um, good lot of camera gear. All the vintage TV weeks. It's a nice big lot of vintage and modern uh, Disney comics. There's some nice old ones in amongst. Little stereo system. Some nice decorative oil paintings. John Dollery. John Spink. Nice big DJ Boyd over the back. But it ain't David Boyd. These are cool reproduction signs. The Lone Ranger Bond Bread. Hopalong Cassidy Radio. Hoppy's Bond Bread. 
They're just cool reproduction size. Black cat stove polish. More watches, coins, some weights there with some eyeglasses, some weird old hose nozzle. More coins, more coins. Sort of a little lot of the half dolls and some other stuff. Nice little brass bits with the plumb bob. Nice big tapestry actually is pretty cool. Sort of idyllic landscape. With a little, we've put that with a little sort of oriental side table. Big lot of CDs. Some lighting. Big lot of DVDs. Big lot of pictures. Big lot of jewellery. Fishing rods and tackle and stuff. A couple of paintings. Collinwood Rivet. That's a Stephen Deutscher. And I haven't been able to make out the signature on that one. So they're a bit interesting. What else have we got? Movie posters. Um, sort of petrol gear and a moon rocket ride on toy and a slouch hat. Big box of phantoms. It's a nice big lot of Australian pottery with Remu, Diana, Melrose. There's other stuff in amongst. Nice big lot. Tools. There we go. Big James Egan painting on an old dunny door, which apparently is Ned, was Ned Kelly's mum's dunny door. That's what the bloke told me when he brought it in. I said, do you have any corroborating evidence? He said, no. I said, I find that, yeah, <laughs> just a great fun thing. Big drum kit. Pretty new, pretty cool. I think it's been hit. Oh, no, it's been hit a few times. More CDs. What else have we got? Good lot of records down the bottom there. Nice lot of EP and S. Some decorative watercolours. A couple of nice bits in amongst there. These are all sort of watchmaking tools and stuff. Playing cards. Good little lot of singles. There's some cool stuff in amongst. Guns and Roses. Black Feather, which I think Bon Scott played bloody... The Triangle or something in that band. Skyhooks, there's some cool stuff there. Weird Al Yankovic. Sunglasses. Some good brands. Some of those lenses are a bit scratched and stuff, but there's some pretty cool things in there. you got goggles as well. Mini grog bottles. These are all watch bands and pins. Cool lot of comics. Heaps of sort of Betty, Veronica and Blondie and stuff like that. we got some nice paintings this week. The Barbara Thomas of the bathing boxes. Really nice Leon Hansen. This is a nice big Carlos Madness. And these are nice. I think it's uh, John Whitelaw. Nice pair of oils. Lovely sort of palette. Nice colours. Little John Frawley's nice as well. Howard V. Bull, 1945. It's a nice Les Young. June Madden. Is this signed Paul Jones? But I don't think it's Paul Osborne Jones. He's quite photorealistic and this is thick and sort of impressionistic and stuff. This is cool. Uh, little John Upton watercolours, nice, just typical. Mixed a lot of comics. Good lot of English records. Elvis Costello. So you've got Average White Band and I think a bit of uh, Mike Oldfield. Cool little lot of kids' books. Another mixed lot of records. Frank Zappa. George Harrison, Cole Chisel. That's a good lot of Lou Reed vinyl up the top there. I think there's five albums in that lot. Old magazines. I think this is a mixed lot. People, people, Women's Day, Everybody's, Picks, Weekend. Big lot of superhero comics. Old calisthenics battens. Nice old sampler. Couldn't see a date on it though. Um, some more comic books, all sort of teenage ones. Genesis Records, some more reproduction tin signs. These are all sort of motoring and stuff. Kylie Minogue gear, including sort of concert stuff. Matchboxes, matchboxes. Johnny Walker and some little miniature bottles of grog. Two more bits of James Egan. Now, apparently, that was Ned Kelly's mum's frying pan. Another lot of reproduction tin sides. These are all soft drink and sort of milk drinks and stuff. Women's Mirror magazines. Big lot of Australasian posts. Little Diana lamps. Nice. She just needs a little bit of a tidy up. 
big collection of 4711. You too can smell like KFC refresher towels. <laughs> Matchboxes. Nice little mix lot of sort of mid century and other ceramics and glass. That's a nice group lot of ceramics, glass, and a nice big Italian jug. Some interesting bits of ephemera. Great lot of Smurf gear, the old sort of waste paper bin. And you've got, I love these things, a push puppet. <laughs> He's ace. Could actually just do that all day. Uh, big lot of Simpsons comics, cool lot of CDs. Pearl Jam, Nirvana, Blur, Cranberries, Jeff Buckley. Oh, they were a cool lot until I found the UMI stuff. But there's other good gear in amongst here. Amy Whitehouse, Daft Punk, Regurgitate, a bit of Bjork, Pixies. Western comics, guitar-related books. Pretty cool metal steering wheel. There you go, with a nice little sort of trench art we're away. What else have we got? Scissors and shears and stuff. Some interesting first day covers. There's two here. There you go, Southern Cross Air Race that was carried by this bloke in this plane, 1979. Some good stuff in there. This is pretty cool as well. A little Noel Moore etching and aquatint of Australia. Cool little lot of salt and peps, Carlton Ware, Goebbels, hand painted ones there from Walpole in Western Australia. And these are interesting. No marks, but I reckon they're Ellis or another Australian pottery mob. They remind me of the Easter Island heads. Bit of Rapa Nui action. There is a couple of chips out of them. Chip on the side there, chip on the side there. All matchboxes, cool little group lot with the squeaky toy Noddy. You've got Noddy's car and two dinky toy die casts. These are all sort of practice artillery rounds. A little 303. Good record, Morning of the Earth. Boxed, uh, looks to be like a 124 scale or something. Tracks, looks like an old FJ Holden with the reproduction owner's manual. Um, Pix magazines, pretty cool sort of modernist fish sort of sculpture. Good lot of barware. Cocktail shakers a ripper. Nice little collection of art glass and a little sort of bronze and glass sculpture there as well. This is a nice little collection of copperware, the measures, whiskey, rum and brandy, and a couple of little mini teapots. Two nice paperweights, a couple of nice Staffordshire figures. This one's got a bit of restoration, and I think the woofer dog has got a crack in the base, and there was some restoration somewhere as well. Stuff's always a bit damaged, you just don't see it around every day, it's good stuff. What else have we got? The nice little Morelli Italian fan. The Australian Boy magazine fortnightly, another little collection of them. A cool limited edition, Warner Brothers Cericel, which is a cross between a cell and a serigraph. It's got a certificate on the back. It's a cool thing. Some interesting more bits of ephemera. Um, some nice early Johnny Walker whiskey jugs and bar ceramics. A couple of bottles of Dimple whiskey, carnival glass, a couple of nice little Dalton Lambeth jugs. Little collection of the mid-century Italian. I've just forgotten who the company is that made it. Nice tungsten jug, a bit different with that sort of colourway. And I've got some nice stuff up the top shelf. Phoenix Ware, which is a nice bit of 19 sort of 30s English. Nice Italian mid-century tall candlestick there. A couple of pump-action crystal perfume bottles. Uh, Hans Carla, I think. A couple of really nice bits of mid-century glass. The one on the left is fluorite glass. So it's blue under a fluorescent light. You take it out under normal light, it turns purple. I like the little jersey, pottery, modernist sort of cat figure. He's a little bit damaged, I think. His front paw's been off in his tail. But at least he's the right colours. <laughs> Landro figure. Nice bit of Branham Barnstaple. After Halpern. Unusual Japanese, I think, Lasone vase. And these are a nice little pair. The White Friars Quackers. That'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't care if you did or if you didn't. <laughs> See you on Thursday night. Be good.